And now we would like you to bring your attention to Sony use case with MicroRoss. So Moya and Koizumi have, pre have prepared a PowerPoint, a 20 minutes presentation to introduce the, the use case. Are you online, Tomoya? Yes, can you hear me? We can hear you. Hello. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you very yeah, much. Stop. Do you see what I see? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Luis Sony is going to make a presentation about this process uh, with Michael Ross. And I am uh, from R&D Center based in US and uh, Koizumi is going to explain about details of this process. So I'm going to go quick about overview uh, with our own deep perspective. So, so the first one is the introduction. Why we we care and we use we try to use the micro ROS is the, it's a good affinity and transparent with ROS2. So the robot is going to be uh, supported by ROS2 and some microcontrollers uh, shooting some sensing data. Uh, to the ROS2 robot. So it's uh, it's really good affinity and the transparent we can use. And also the good community support and activity. And you know the, the last one is I think important. Eventually many sensing data comes come from the microcontrollers. I mean like uh, around the phase and uh, if it's not the production phase, maybe we can do whatever we want. Maybe we can set up some Ubuntu and uh, we can you know, connect a bunch of sensors to that PC and see if what's going to happen. But once it comes to the product, you know, we, we have to take care about real time and always that, uh, you know, like the timestamp. So I think eventually we're going to have to use the microcontrollers to get the sensing data from the edge. And always it's a quick, <laughs> it's a really easy picture. But uh, our r and perspective is something like this. So the cloud infrastructure is always there. It's kind of like a brain to access. So uh, there would be the bunch of robots working together, uh, maybe the factory and the logistics, and uh, but some intelligence, the process, or you know, like a deep consideration will be done in the cloud. It's a core brain to access the cloud service. But near edge is. Uh, actual robots so but it process some some you know like uh consideration it's like a collision detection or easy path planning and uh something like that but it's not exactly the core brain it's like a small brain to think about you know to make a quick reaction or something and the the last one is a far edge this is i think for the microcontrollers uh micro ross so uh, it's not exactly uh, moves around, or maybe it's kind it's kind of like sen sensor device which is connected some uh, interfaces to uh, robots. So there would be a lot, but it does not do any process for like a brain. It just get the sensing data and uh, provide the sensing data to the near edge. That's our architecture. <clears throat> so uh, we didn't uh, we didn't try to use micro ROS uh, based on the suppressors, but we did try this uh, configuration. So the single uh, LAN is there, and there is uh, a couple of robots uh, based on ROS too. It's uh, it's just experimental the PC and workstation and Raspberry Pi, and uh, some ROS application is there, and the ROS two agent is there to support micro ROS. And we have two suppressors uh, connected, uh, GPS and uh, gyro uh, accelerator or something like that to get the sensing data from that hardware to shoot that sensing data to the ROS2 agent. So that uh, ROS2 application can see that sensing data from the microcontroller. And everything works okay uh, for now. <laughs> That's what we did. And the procedure is really easy. Uh, there is no no other specific procedure required to run the micro ROS application on Spressense because Spressense supports uh, NatX. So either you can you can check out the Spressense SDK documents uh, to see if uh, you can just move uh, 
you can just copy that application directory to that Presence SDK and build, and you can have a go. Or the Micros NetX app uh, procedure, you uh, you can use uh, Presence supports NetX. So let's say just NetX procedure can be done. So uh, that's it. So I just explained about the, like overview what we think about in the future, maybe next two three years. Uh, what we are trying to do, what we are see, what we want to see, uh, what's going to happen in the future. But the process detail will be taken care of by uh, Koizumi-san. So the Koizumi-san is going to take over uh, from here. Koizumi-san, can you? Uh, you oh, yes. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I, I will share three. So, thank you. Yeah, there you go. We can see that. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Takashi Koizumi, and uh, uh, I'm in charge of Space and Software Development. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, thank you for inviting me um, today uh, here. And uh, I'm very happy to hear that uh, you are uh, considering uh specials uh, are one of your official polls <laughs> so and uh so uh please uh let me explain uh to briefly introduce uh of the specials itself and uh uh this one is uh uh Uh, the Spresence is a microcontroller development board uh, launched by Sony Semiconductor Solutions in uh, uh, July uh, uh, 2018. Uh, as a feature, uh, it has six uh, Cortex M4F cores uh, and use very uh, low uh, power uh, uh, microcontroller and uh, it works uh, in a uh, uh, 7.7 uh, volt and uh, it's also of course depend on the uh, frequency but uh, uh, every uh, voltage is uh, uh, lower uh, power and uh, uh, and and also uh, it contains uh, uh, Sony's audio technology a and can handle uh, 192 kilohertz 24-bit high resolution audio and and in addition uh, it is possible to uh, uh, simultaneously uh, in input uh, four analog uh, microphone and uh, or eight digital microphone and for output, uh, uh, it has a Class D full digital amplifier, so uh, uh, which can uh, uh, also uh, output high quality sound. And uh, another feature is uh, GPS, JNSS uh, positioning uh, capability, and uh, uh, that uh, uh, that supported. Uh, the supported satellite is uh, uh, GPS, GRONAS, uh, QZFSS, and Beidou and Galileo. Uh, and also the camera interface is uh, supported. And uh, the present board family is, is including the uh, main board and the camera board and the extension board and the uh, uh, LTE extension board. So and, uh, this is a very new one. And uh, uh, actually, the, this uh, extension board is currently only available in Japan. And uh, but uh, we plan to release the EU or and the US model by uh, the end of this year. 
So uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, uh, spec of the main board. And uh, as I told you, the uh, CPU is the uh, Quadex MOF uh, six cores, and uh, frequency is supporting uh, 156 megahertz or 33 or 8 megahertz. And uh, uh, SLAM uh, uh, has uh, uh, 1.5 megabytes. And the flash memory is uh, on board uh, is, uh, uh, maximum board, uh, size, uh, so uh, 8 megabytes. And some uh, digital inputs uh, as a uh, uh, digital uh, microcontroller. And uh, another input also has two. Uh, and GPS uh, is I uh, explained uh, uh, before. And camera input. The camera is uh, empty here. Uh, this one. Uh, this one is the camera input, and uh, uh, it's a dedicated parallel interface. And uh, uh, both, uh, how to say, condition uh, operating conditions uh, like this. And here is the spec uh, for the camera board. Uh, the image sensor uh, is used uh, 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 Sony's uh, uh, ISX012 uh, uh, image sensor, uh, which was resolution is uh, uh, five mega pixel maximum. And uh, this one is uh, a kind of the ISOC, so uh, this uh, image sensor can uh, generate the uh, JPEG directory, uh, not only the raw data. And this is the uh, uh, extension board. Uh, it's uh, used uh, to expand the I.O. Uh, of the main board. So main board is uh, uh, attached on here and connected via, via the board to board connector, uh, 100 pins. And uh, th this board uh, it has uh, uh, the SD card slot and uh, uh, the uh, headphone jack and uh, microphone input pin here. So uh, that uh, you can easily uh, enjoy the uh, audio function of the uh, spaces. And uh, this uh, is an LTE exchange board. Uh, it uses an, an IC called uh, LTE uh, 1250, uh, manufactured by Altea. Uh, the, uh, now uh, the uh, company name is uh, Sony Semiconductor Israel. And uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, this uh, uh, board of the uh, EU and the US model is uh, uh, will be available uh, by uh, the end of this year. And uh, in addition to uh, persons uh, peripheral boards, uh, there are many uh, other boards available uh, from uh, third parties, and uh, most, uh, unfortunately, most of the uh, boards are still only available in Japan. And uh, but uh, uh, Sony is working with them to get uh, uh, them uh, deployed overseas. And uh, the Splessence chipset, uh, it is used uh, uh, chipset uh, by Sony. The, uh, there are two chips. Uh, one is the uh, 65602 and uh, the other is 5, uh, 5247. 
And uh, uh, 5602 is uh, uh, basically the uh, digital part. And uh, 5647 is the uh, uh, analog part. And uh, this is the uh, uh, internal of the uh, 5602. Uh, there are four uh, domain uh, uh, block. And one is a uh, uh, application domain. So uh, this one is uh, including the uh, six cores and uh, 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 1.5 megabyte SLAM. And uh, uh, usually the uh, user can use uh, these six cores uh, to program programming uh, themselves. Uh, and uh, yellow block is a uh, system on the uh, IO processing uh, block. And uh, actually, uh, there is uh, one more core. It's a uh, Cortex uh, M0 Plus. And uh, this core is uh, uh, handling the uh, booting up or uh, the uh, system management and uh, uh, power domain control. Actually, this one is, is uh, uh, working as a, a secure core. So uh, this uh, chip can be a, 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 a this uh, chip is supporting the uh, secure boot uh, by using uh, this core. And uh, GNSS block is uh, here, uh, blue, blue, bo blue box. And uh, uh, this one also has uh, one uh, independent uh, uh, Cortex M4 core uh, to uh, calculate the position uh, from the, uh, uh, with the GNSS receiver. And one more uh, unique block is uh, sensor domain. Uh, this one is the kind of the uh, sensor hub, uh, but uh, uh, a bit uh, intelligent. So uh, uh, let me explain this uh, green box uh, uh, more detail. So uh, this one is uh, a kind of the sensor hub, but uh, there are uh, with three e functions. The one is uh, automatic automatic uh, pouring of the sensor data by sensor engine here. And uh, two-stage uh, IR filter it, uh, exists. And uh, uh, event detector, uh, which detect a peak, uh, or et cetera, of the uh, sensor signal. And this block is supporting for uh, uh, interfaces uh, for sensors. Uh, ISKC, uh, two ISKCs and the one SPI and uh, uh, high performance ADC and low performance ADC and uh, output of the PDRM uh, for channels. And uh, uh, data pass, uh, imaginary data pass of the uh, this uh, sensor control unit is like this. So uh, there are uh, sensors and uh, input uh, by using these uh, passes. Uh, and uh, uh, by uh, calling uh, by the sequencer, that, that is a uh, 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 sensor uh, engine. And uh, after that, uh, there is an IR filter, and the filter data will be stored uh, into the uh, uh, 40 kilobyte FIFO. And also, the, that is uh, going to the event detector logic uh, to generate the interrupt. And uh, this one is a bit detail of the IR filter uh, and the uh, event detector. So uh, uh, there are two passes. Uh, one is for to the uh, FIFO, or, and one is the uh, uh, event detector uh, from the sensor data. And uh, uh, there are three points to uh, set, uh, can be set the IR filter. Uh, uh, sorry, the two points can be set, the IR filter in three, three places. And uh, uh, of course, uh, you don't, uh, if you don't want to uh, use uh, IR filter, uh, the data can be uh, 
store directly into the pipe or uh, going to the uh, event detector. And uh, what is the event detector is uh, to detect some specific signal of the uh, uh, sensor sensors. And yeah, there, there is some uh, settings, uh, upper threshold, lower threshold, or uh, the period of the uh, increasing or period of the uh, decreasing. And uh, what the purpose of this is, uh, uh, usually, the, uh, for example, uh, if you make a kind of the uh, band device and uh, 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 with uh, uh, gesture detection, uh, and um, basically, uh, usually the uh, this uh, sensor signal, uh, sensor data is going to the uh, CPU uh, to uh, recognize the uh, uh, gestures uh, uh, every time, but. Uh, uh, to calculate the uh, uh, CPU, it's a uh, much more uh, need need much more power. So uh, this uh, event detector is detect kind of the uh, peak of the uh, uh, sensor signal. So uh, if the band device is uh, stable like uh, the the guy's hand is on a table uh, uh kipri then the uh there are no signal uh actually there are no peak uh, or something so oh, then the uh this event that uh, doesn't uh generate the interrupt to the cpu so cpu can uh, sleep uh, until uh detect a uh, peak uh uh by detected uh, detected by the this event detector and also uh, you uh, can com combine the uh, ir filter for uh, event detector so uh, 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 event detector is not only the direct uh, sensor signal but also the filtered signal also can be used so uh, much more specific frequency uh, frequency a characteristic can be a detect and uh, yeah this uh sensor control unit is uh uh how to say the uh uh one of the idea to uh, decrease the power uh for uh sensing uh, every time and uh expressions uh, development uh uh uh, uh, things. So this is uh, just an overview of the uh, stack, uh, software stack uh, of presence. Uh, pink side is the uh, hardware and uh, uh, green, uh, blue, yellow is the software. And uh, presence uh, software is based on the NATX uh, as Richardson explained. And uh, on the NATX, uh, we provide uh, uh, several libraries uh, by uh, uh, running on a uh, uh, NATEX. So uh, as you know, the NATEX can uh, very flexible uh, by using the uh, K-config mechanism. So uh, uh, memory is just a uh, uh, 1.5 megabytes that the uh, uh, user can uh, configure. Uh, not only the uh, 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 kernel uh, OS things, but also the, these uh, other uh, components. And, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, the NATEX and uh, uh, NATEX based uh, software is a bit, uh, how to say, a higher threshold for uh, beginners. So we also provide the uh, Arduino library, Arduino like library. Uh, uh, for using the uh, spreads, so uh, we provide uh, uh, the uh, addition. Uh, say add-on packages on uh, uh, for the Arduino ID, 
And also uh, for the uh, and Safe DK, uh, we provide a uh, plugin uh, for that. And several, uh, so three uh, third parties uh, is uh, providing the other uh, development uh, platform. The uh, the MicroEJ uh, providing the uh, Java development environment, and uh, this one is also uh, already ported in the presence. And uh, the for the Python, the Circuit Python Adafruit uh, is supporting the uh, Circuit Python uh, on the, for the presence. And uh, the Rins, uh, this uh, company is providing the. Uh, uh, Python compiler and uh, 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 and this one is also supporting the uh, spreads and Nectar is uh, providing the JavaScript uh, environment so uh, several uh, third parties are also providing the some uh, development environment and uh, now we are uh, we are focused on uh, uh, deep learning environment. So uh, the, the now Express is, uh, is supporting the three uh, runtimes uh, for uh, executing the trained model. And one is uh, Sony's neural network console. I think it's not so familiar uh, to the in. Uh, 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 overseas, overseas. Uh, it's a, a deep learning environment tool uh, with a graphical network design UI. So uh, uh, user don't need to know the any uh, programming uh, skill. Uh, it's just uh, uh, designing the, by the uh, connecting the blocks uh, uh, of the. Uh, running and uh, now uh, Spreads SDK can support the uh, uh, Google TensorFlow like Micros Controller. I th I think uh, I don't need to uh, explain anything for this. It's the most uh, famous uh, deep learning uh, development tool, I think. And uh, Agent Pass. This is a company to provide a, a kind of the a integrated development environment for AGI. So this the background. Uh, this one is uh, use uh, TensorFlow, but uh, uh, the this uh, tool is uh, uh, connected to the uh, the uh, edge device like uh, Spresense directory and. Uh, uh, uh how to say the uh uh correcting the data uh to run uh can be uh, corrected from the uh uh the board itself and uh the data can see the uh like this and uh, uh also you can design the uh the uh a network uh, of the deep running, deep running, and run, and after that, uh, run the run the model can be deployed directly uh, from this tool to the uh, device. Yeah. Now, sorry, sorry. sorry for interruption. Yeah. How many how many more slides do, you, do we have? Uh, one more. Sorry. It's been taking a long time. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Sorry. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, this is a uh, uh, spreadsheet and. Uh, uh, if you, uh, uh, yeah, uh, as the uh, 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 said, uh, uh, there are a document here. So uh, if you are interested, uh, please uh, take a look. Thank you.